In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the schematics for the Wonderwaf DG2 in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button if you're new for more MWZ content. So unlike the Raygun schematics, which can only be obtained randomly by doing contracts inside of the high threat zone, the Wonderwaf schematics actually have a set course of action you have to take in order to find them. Now you won't actually get the DG2 schematics by completing contracts or killing Mega Bombs. You can only get the schematics for the DG2 after you've progressed to the very last tier of challenges inside of Act 3 for the game mode. What that means is basically you have to complete every single challenge in all three acts of the game, minus the Orcus boss fight to unlock it. Now I'm not going to go over how to complete all three acts because truthfully 90% of the challenges are very self-explanatory and you'll be able to get them done just by reading the descriptions for them inside of your game. But for the sake of the video I'll talk about how to complete the tier 4 challenges of act 3 that are leading up to collecting the Wonderwaf schematics. So the first challenge inside of tier 3 act 4 is going to be going into the ether storm, killing 50 zombies inside of the ether storm, and taking out the disciple that resides inside of the storm. This challenge isn't really honestly too bad because the zombies are only going to be medium difficulty, so killing them with most pack-a-punched one weapons will do just fine. But the disciple that's inside the storm is the real pain of the challenge. I brought a triple packed ray gun in and it still took about 10 minutes just to work the disciple down in order to kill him off. Once I did though you get some pretty solid loot and you'll be able to move on to the next challenge. The next challenge in Act 3 Tier 4 is to clear out an infected stronghold that's located inside of the high difficulty zone. This is probably one of the hardest challenges throughout all of the acts just because of how tight quarters the strongholds are and how quickly the zombies will hit and damage you inside of that Tier 3 zone. I would personally recommend having Aether Shroud equipped so you can safely go in and take out a few spores before returning back outside. When you're outside the stronghold, use your weapon to kill zombies and charge up the Aether Shroud again before running back in. Once you clear out the stronghold, you'll be able to move on to the next challenge that gives you the Wonderwaf DG2 schematics. The challenge for the DG2 is absolute cake compared to the previous two challenges in Act 3 Tier 4. All you have to do to get this is complete an Outlast contract in any of the zones, and these are the ones that look like satellites on your minimap. Literally just make sure you complete the challenge successfully and also get 50 kills during the duration of the holdout, and if you do that, Wonderwaf DG2 schematics are guaranteed to spawn in your reward portal. Now if you complete the contract and the box doesn't get checked off for the first challenge, the Wonderwap doesn't show up in the portal, don't worry this happened to me, just complete another one and it should spawn in the second time you complete it. Once you've picked up the Wonderwap DG2 schematics, you can exfil with them and you'll have them permanently unlocked in the main menu. Of course the Wonder Weapons in this game are on a 48 hour cooldown, which kinda sucks, but I'm really hoping that Treyarch cuts them in half for future updates. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Modern Warfare 3 Zombies content. Have a good one and stay safe.